a sciencey mindset, a religious mindset, and now your third option, a mystic mindset. If you're not familiar with the first two yet, watch this video. If you are, in order to unpack what makes a mystic mindset, we need to dive slightly deeper into all three. What we will henceforth call the three pillars of understanding. You've heard of them before, but not like this. The simple version is the physical, mental, and spiritual. But when you unpack them practically, this is what all three actually mean for you. Let's break it down. Science deals with all things on the physical plane. Elle est généralement observateur, objectif et axé sur les résultats. Jo se tsa ko klausima, kas te ira. Eine Welt mit Wissenschaft schreitet technologisch voran. Uno sin ciencia es supersticios. Mysticism imeje dio sa vsemi vishami na mentalnem plane. Elle est généralement intuitif, subtil et axé sur les résultats. Es beantwortet die Frage, wer bin ich? Un monde mystique et épanouissant. Ben mystikos? Yes, cas de anoscas. La religión se ocupa de todas las cosas en el plano espiritual. Et est intuitif ou observateur, mais basé sur la foi. Il répond à la question Pourquoi sommes-nous Mirs religie philanthropic. Eine Welt ohne ist nihilistisch. Watch that again if you wanna. I know it goes fast but there is a lot to learn and unlearn from that breakdown. So, by this explanation of the three pillars of understanding, we can understand that mystic things are mostly things above the physical plane and below the spiritual, in this in-between gray area that we call the mental plane. It's a bit abstract, even in its practicality. You still with me? If you are, then let this one boil your noodle. The mystic deals with all of the stuff that helps you figure out who you are and has the ability to help you navigate what you want from your life. So Goose, I hear you say, that's fucking fascinating and all and brilliantly explained. Just really a bang up job. Wow. But what can I do with this information? Well, only change your life. Forever. Maybe, I, I don't know, depends on where you are in your journey. But for starters, you can stop attempting to use science and religion to answer questions of the self. Y yourself, I mean. Both of those mindsets are readily available in the world now. So if it worked for you, you probably wouldn't be here. So let's try a new strategy. <laughs> Just kidding. It's actually a really old strategy. Ancient, actually, by literal thousands of years. Somehow over time, we forgot how or why it was important to think of ourselves in terms of mysticism. Click here for why we forgot mysticism and here to find out more about what you can do once it's found you. And remember, you stay weird out there.